Do you nerd for costumes? Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? So, uh, still taking advantage of our press passes at Vision Con 2019, we got to talk to one of your favorite cosplay creators. Master Builder Bruce Holt. Yeah, just, um, just go. That's true. <laughs> and they've asked me on a few programs to read off their prompter. Now, um, I don't know if anybody's told you this with dyslexia, but if you can ever do anything on a green background, you'll make less mistakes on green. Really? Yes. And, um, you know, I was failing school horribly. I was in fourth grade, and, you know, they are like, we don't know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. And, um, you know, I could read anything up on the board. That's the thing. But I'd hit my book, and I couldn't see any. I couldn't understand it. You know, and they took me to uh, to get my eyes checked, all this other kind of stuff. Well, there was a Vietnam vet that had lost his arm in Vietnam, and he started working with a lot of handicapped people. And one of the handicaps that he was working with were the people that had problems reading, mm -hmm. you know, the dyslexic people. But it wasn't a big thing. They didn't know really yeah. what it was. And we was in this big classroom where there's what they called pods mm -hmm. where there was four in the and it, let's say it was all history which was he was a history teacher he wasn't my history teacher uh -huh. he was over here all right but i was always up in the front of the class because even though i couldn't read i couldn't do anything like that it didn't mean i didn't want to learn uh -huh. you know so i was always up in the class so i could hear and i could see better well his desk was right here and one day after class, because they all knew that I was failing, you know, I was, I was like mm -hmm. getting ready to be held back. And he came up to me and said, Bruce, he says, you got a few minutes after class. And I said, yeah. I'm, and so I sat down and he says, I want, I want you to try something. I said, okay. So he writes some stuff down on a white piece of paper. He says, can you read this to me? And he had very good leadership, I remember that. <laughs> and so I read it the best that I could. And he got out a, it was actually a ledger mm -hmm. um, that was that mint green color, and he wrote the same sentence then. And he goes, read this, and I looked down, and I read it. Hmm. And he goes, he goes, son, you have what's called dyslexia. And I said, what? And he says, you have dyslexia. He says, if you, if you can see it on green, and you can't see it on white or yellow, then you're your mind is switching things around. So, huh, I never knew that. Anyway, I try it. I, when I took my college interest exam, which I wouldn't have without this guy being able to go into college, um, the entrance exam was on a computer. And I went up and I, I started on the computer and they had this bright white background. So I stopped and asked the lady that was giving me an exam. I says, can you tint this green for me? And she goes, yeah. And I says, I'm dyslexic. I need a tinted green. Right? And it was an hour test, and I finished it in 20 minutes. Wow. <laughs> and it's just because, and you talk about numbers. This is a funny thing, is I'm dyslexic, right? Uh, numbers are a real problem. And what I do for a living is I do scheduling for a, a factory. Mm -hmm. And I deal with numbers every day. Yeah. And it's mine have to add up. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> you know it's 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 one of those things that without without this guy and uh, you know his name was Mr. Henson and he's, uh, it, it's just I would not be where I'm at. I wouldn't even be doing this because I'd probably uh, reserve myself that I was just stupid. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah, I think that is the problem with past generations with them not knowing how to talk to you or label things you know because when I was growing up ADD was just starting and they didn't know what that was yeah. you know so they didn't know what ADD was so you're like there's just something wrong with you and we'll just you know throw you off in the corner yeah. or whatever but yeah now now they're PC and they can talk yeah. nice to people and don't give people complexes yeah. well you know the funny thing is when I was growing up because my age I know I'm quite a bit older now, <laughs> um, um, back then, it wasn't called ADD at all. It was called Bruce needs a spanking. <laughs> so, Hell yeah, I got a few of those and I acted too. out quite a bit because you know, uh, gotta understand, especially with dyslexia yourself, you know, um, 
my thing is, is people treated me differently mm -hmm. because they didn't want to deal with it. They didn't want, you know, it's not worth the time to mess with them. We got all these other kids we got to deal, yeah. deal with and everything. So for me to get attention, I had to act out. You know? Yeah. And uh, it usually wasn't in the best ways, you know, that's the thing. Which just kind of morphs the, the problem into a bigger problem. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, it's, it's one of the things, but that's also I'll have to contribute it to my art because since I was so reserved, I spent a lot of time and a lot of a lot of drawing and uh, you know I had the when and, and the toys I had and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's like I, I went into a different world because that was my that was my world. I, you know, that's where nobody judged me. Nobody figured I was this yeah person that just didn't understand. It. Well, so. it look it always looks amazing. I'm always impressed with everything that you can do. <laughs> I, I appreciate that, and I, you know that it humbles me when when you guys did that uh, at the room and asked me if you could film it. It's like absolutely, you know. Um, and when I saw it, it was just it was so it was so fun to watch. You know, well, good. because you, know, you guys are quite entertaining. I, lo I love the, you know, and I love the reviews. And, and even if it had been a bad review, it's still a review. I can't learn what people don't like unless they tell me. Yeah, yeah. So if you have a, you know, I know there's a problem with the fumes and that I just, um, I'm actually experimenting with some new cements that are, um, they're a latex base, mm -hmm. um, and it's just getting the ones to dry fast enough. You know, that's the problem with latex is the evaporation of water is a lot slower than evaporation of any thinners. So, but I try to set up with these cons. I tell them, guys, don't put me in a small room. You know, a small room with three people is okay. Yeah. But when when you've got thirty-seven people with barge cement out there. You know, it's, it gets pungent, you know. And even Brian came to me afterwards and he says, well, he said, we did have some complaints about the fumes. And I said, that's why I said we can't do it. There. Yeah. But it's not, I'm not going to stop doing it um, unless, you know, the thing about Branson and the, I love about that hotel is they have been super, super accommodating to me, to my craft. You know, um, you saw where my trailer was sitting. Mm -hmm. They reserved that spot for my trailer to be there uh, because it's part of what I do. And it's like they had, you know, I pulled up, they, they said, yeah, I'm Mr. Holt, this is where you go, and stuff like that. I tell them my name's not Mr. Holt, Mr. Holt was my dad, I'm Bruce. <laughs> you know, it's, it's one of those things. But they took care of me, and they always do down there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been to several different conventions um, up in Kansas City. I did Kansas City Comic Con. I did a, a um, build up there. And they actually uh, went to the, the con owner and they were going to charge him $2,000 for cleanup. Wow. And I'm like, clean up what? Because if you notice when you walked in that room, there was plastic on the floor. Yeah. There was. There was paper on the tables. There was, you know, and it, I take care of their area. Yeah. But I guess where they were plastic dipping on the back dock, because I had, I had like, twelve helpers on that, and they were, um, they were part of the, the you know, the con freebies. Mm -hmm. You know what those are? The guys come in here and they yeah. do security, or they do, they work for three hours and then go enjoy the con. Yeah. <laughs> well, when they were out. Plasti dipping, which usually, like you, I'll get done with the class. I've got panels, interviews, stuff like that to do. Mm -hmm. My my people take care of it. Well, um, they had some of these uh, con freebies helping with the plasti dip, and they decided it wasn't going fast enough. So they took some over the side and they would just spray them. Well, it's the overspray that. Oh. And uh, you know, so when he came to me and he says, well, man, "What are we going to do about this two thousand dollars?" I said. They're your people. He said, but didn't you instruct him? I said, you had me in a panel. Yeah. Your people took this down. I didn't even know if they could plasti dip. Mm -hmm. And from what I understand, they weren't even wearing masks. They were stuff like that. But I'm not responsible for your people. Yeah. My people do it. 
no problem, you know. But it, I always have them sign a disclaimer too, you know, mm -hmm. that um, this is this is a, you know there's some to toxicity to the to the solvents and mm -hmm. the materials and stuff like that. There is some airborne particulates and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to keep your area as clean as possible, but you're assuming the risk of letting me do this there. Yeah. You know, you're a convention center. You have log homes in there every once in a while. You know. Yeah. You know what it takes. <laughs> and uh, so I, I have to do that with conventions now. Uh, you know, you kind of have to cover yourself. You know, I like to say, I don't really cosplay. Uh, I, I love to build, and I love to build myself costumes. Uh -huh. Don't get me wrong. And I, I, you know, but I've competed for years, and for years I've done very well. And I just, I've got to the point now where it's just like, you know, I'd rather teach people like yourselves. Yeah. Because I love to see that reaction from me, especially when you, the you know, all the shields together at the end. That was a cool picture. Yeah, and it, it's just like, you know, these people did this in two days. Yeah. And Bruce didn't do that in two days. I want, I want to get that clear. Bruce didn't do that. I supplied you with the material and the knowledge. The ones that built those 37 shields was you guys. Yeah. And it's that's that's what impresses me. Yeah. Is, um, and, and, well, you know, when I tell you that no matter what your skill level is, you're here to have fun. Yeah. And if you have fun, you're going to surprise yourself. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and, and if I can teach you, if I can teach you one thing you didn't know, you know, I've done my job. And uh, but again, I've got I've got amazing people with with JC and her. She's the one that did the magnets, mm -hmm. and she did I, mean, I think an amazing job with those magnets. And then of course the big standee and everything yeah. out front. Um, and I don't ask her to do those things. She wants to be a part of it, and uh, you know. And then she'll she'll send me pictures. I'm doing this. <laughs> I knew, but I didn't know. But <laughs> yeah. you know, because I can, and it's not that I get to expect it, because they never have to do anything but show up and help me. Mm -hmm. That's it. And I take care of them too. You know, it's uh, uh, show up, help me, and we'll have fun of this. Right now, I'm trying to get JC to do her own. People need to be hiring her in these panels because she is an amazing, amazing builder. She's got a new Mira costume that she's been working on that Ooh. it'll be here tomorrow. Sweet. She's one of my favorite characters, so and, I'm excited to oh, look at that. <laughs> and hers, she did her scale mail herself, uh, but her costume is amazing. And it's something that she's made in like three weeks. Wow. And for her to put this thing together in three weeks, just the craftsmanship of putting it together in three weeks is, is just phenomenal. But I, I keep telling her, you know, that you, you need to become the teacher because you are that good. And, and she doesn't believe in herself yet. Yeah. The first time I saw her was down at GlitchCon. GlitchCon was a small, you know, I don't think 500 people went through there the whole weekend. Yeah. And, um, but I'm in my big costume, the one that I call Mono Seas, the one with the horns. Uh huh. And, um, I'm walking around and I see JC and John over in costume over here and they didn't approach me, I approached them because I loved her costume and I, I saw the symmetry of it was perfect and then I went up and I could tell it was made out of uh, lesser materials, cheaper materials. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to call them cheaper, right? Because all materials cost money. You know, inexpensive materials. Yeah. And <laughs> he, he, even even a ninety cent sheet of something in in volume is not ninety cents anymore. Yeah. So. But I walked up and I, I commented her co on her costume and said how nice it was and how impressed I was with the symmetry in it. And of course she said, well, she says, yours is hands down. And I said, no, I said, you don't understand how good your costume is. Because you don't have to have all this, but what you've got looks right, you know. And um, it's not it's not film, film correct for color or shape or size, but you knew what it was. Mm -hmm. And, but I, I, I tell people, don't do that. Let your imagination wander. You know, if you're gonna, my jor which is this one, you know, this is similar to the one on screen, but I put my spin on it because mm -hmm. I wanted to do my little thing. Um, anyway, back to JC. <laughs>
Um, so I told her that, I said, you know, this is really, really good. And I said, and she, she said she was doing the costume contest and she was going to be in the, you know, the office because it's the first time she mm -hmm. ever competed. And I says, well, I says, it's going to do really well. I says, I'd be surprised if you don't win this. She goes, no, she's not that good. She says, there's these, and I says, I understand, but I'm, I'm, I do this. <laughs> I do uh -huh. a lot of this. Well, um, they, I was, as a matter of fact, I was in the costume contest too, and there was a, another girl there, uh, Yvonne, which won down at Branson. Yes, we follow her a lot. We like yes. her. Okay. Yvonne had this other costume, not the one she's wearing now, and um, I can't say the words that she said when I walked in, but it was kind of an old crap thing. <laughs> because I walked in in my costume. She thought, I've built this elaborate costume, and here comes Bruce, you know. And uh, so she was telling me this, and I said, no, you don't understand. Yours beats mine. She said, no, it doesn't. I said, it just doesn't. JC and Yvonne both have these fantastic costumes there. I'm competing against Yvonne, but not against JC. Uh -huh. So we get up there, and uh, we're going on and, and they come to the end of it and the novice class they call JC out for best in novice class so I said I told you yeah I, you nice know, I'm not saying I have the perfect sight for it but I see the detail that's what I do and then we get up there and they call me out um, not as best show but in the master class I win right mm -hmm. and I looked over at Yvonne and said see I told you because best of show is next and she got it nice so but um, it's it's a lot of fun. I, I really, really, really enjoy doing this. And meeting everybody, people like yourselves, um, getting people to, you know, join me in a you know, chat like we did there. Uh -huh. You know, um, I was on my way to Kansas City at the time, and, and you know, it's just like, okay, this is, this is nice. Of course, I wasn't driving. My wife, my <laughs> wife always drives. That's the thing is when, when we're going to something like that, she always drives. That's like so, what I do. I always drive. And well, he, he does she, all the, the footagey stuff. <laughs> uh, I start driving, my phone's going ding, ding. She's like, let me drive. Because <laughs> so, I, I mean, my phone stays down when I'm, dri I'm driving. I'm, um, so... That it's fun. I, I really, and I've spent several hours sometimes with chatting back and forth with people because they, I don't. If somebody's asking me questions. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to say, yeah, you know, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, like I said in the class, it's, it's what I love to do. It's, well, you're very good at teaching things. You're very approachable. It's you know, it's very easy to talk to you. So I mean, it it, it makes it easier to do something because you do feel like you can say, "Hey, how do I do this?" You know, right. which I mean, I I like costuming, but I'm also I guess I could say I'm lazy. I'd rather just buy it <laughs> than do it. Or like with your thing, where there's a kit, so all my stuff is there, and then I can see how creative I can be. You know, and I I feel like maybe eventually I might branch off into the you know, to being able to do that. But, you know, I was very impressed with your class yeah. to see all those shields, and we all had the same material. Yeah. And everyone was different. There was not yeah. a single one that oh, was the same. Yeah. yeah, and don't say, like JC and everybody else, don't sell yourself short. And when you get to the level you want to be at, um, you don't have to push it further. I mean, just do what makes you comfortable. Now, if you want to do something, do it when you feel comfortable doing it. That's, that's one of the things I've had to learn as a costume builder, that if I get out there, sometimes with my commissions, I get kind of, you know, worried about it. Mm -hmm. But when I'm doing stuff for my own or building with you guys or whatever, you know, I'm so relaxed. And that's where you have to be. You have to be in a relaxed state of mind uh, because there is no hurry to learn. Yeah. You know, I can show somebody how to do something real quick, but uh, especially with as kind of anal as I am, uh, with with building, uh, I I have to find that I have to find that zone where I'm I'm calm. You know, um, made a couple of things just before this convention, and it's just because I needed to pass some time. Because mm -hmm. you know I got um, you know well, not really con cred, but my mouth is dry and I'm ready and I'm ready to go. And I, what do I do next? I haven't got anything to do and kind of an ADD thing. Uh huh. You know? And. Uh, so I went out and, as a matter of fact, the Wonder Woman shield that's out in my booth, mm -hmm. uh, I finished that up yesterday. And it's just like, okay, 
I got to do something. This one woman show is sitting up on the shelf, and I'm like, I don't really have time to do that. So maybe I'll just do a few things. You know, three hours later, I'm shining it up and I'm putting it up on a stand, and it's like, and I didn't go to finish it. I just wanted to pass the time, uh -huh. but I got in that zone, and that's yeah. what you need to find. So, it, it and you know, people like like your show has come up to me several times and said, "Well, you know, I bought this, and it's, it's okay. I I'm not the one that oh, that's from a store, you know. Yeah. You know, if you get up on the stand the stage and say you made it, yeah, I got a problem with that. Yeah. But you know, um, think of how many people can enjoy what we do because they don't have the craft or they don't have the knowledge or they mm -hmm. haven't taken classes like mine. Yeah. You know, um, those people still want to join. And it's like, if you can only buy that from a store, I'm, no, yeah. that's, you know, that's who I am. That's who I'm always going to be. Um, and, you know, I, I enjoy people. I really do. Um, my favorite part is the kids. To kneel down next to a kid and just look at their, you know, their their eyes and and the, the glow that yeah. they have. Because they think you're actually that person. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, yeah, and it's awesome to them. <laughs> and they're like, and they're over there and they're tugging on their parents, you know. It's like, <laughs> you know, and but usually when I do kneel down next to them, that's where I get my biggest reaction. Yeah. Yeah, and that's one thing, especially as an entertainer or whatever you can learn. Always get down to onto their level, because that's where they live. They mm -hmm. live down there. You know, you're bigger than life to them right now, yes, but that doesn't mean you have to remain bigger than life. If you get down, you know, they get comfortable. They get very comfortable because now they're eye to eye like mm -hmm. you and I are now, instead of instead of going like this. You know. Yeah. Um, now they're part of it. Yeah. And that's. Any cosplayer, that's what I tell them to do. Uh, you know, be kind to people. Don't don't critique anybody unless you have something positive to say. Not all critiques have to be negative. And that, uh, the, uh, you know, if you feel like you need to tell somebody somebody something about their costume, really be careful with their, your words mm -hmm. because it can devastate somebody. It might, yeah. You know, it might be the last thing that, that they ever want to do. They, you know, they might throw it down and say, oh, I'll never do this, you know. And uh, so that's what I, you know, I would tell anybody. If they're going to go out and they're going to be in the public eye, uh -huh. you are in the public eye. It's yeah. your choice to be there. Yeah. And uh, so be, be good to people. Yeah. I, really, um, I, last night um, I had a call from... Um, local comic shop here that they were working on a Wonder Woman costume that this girl had built, the very first one, mm -hmm. but they couldn't figure out a few things. So I loaded up a kit and went over there and, and we actually finished the Wonder Woman costume oh, for nice. her. And I didn't do it. I let her, you know, and I, but I'm teaching while I'm doing uh -huh. this and, and, you know, um, as a matter of fact, I need to show you the picture of, of her in the costume after we got it completed. Because the look in her face is genuine joy. Yeah. And she was so when she came in, she looked. She had this terrified look on her face for, you know, what do I do? I'm at the cons tomorrow, and and you know I've worked on this, but I feel like I'm not going to be able to wear it to this con because it's not finished and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And then afterwards, she felt so at ease with knowing I know where to go next. And so if I gave her that just that one little push, that one little thing that she needed in her mind for the confidence and, you know, because I'm always there. You, you can yeah. ask me any question and I'll, I'll, I'll comment back to you. You know, I'm, I'm going to, if, if I have to, I'll, I've done, I've done 15 minute build for somebody that I didn't even intend building because I couldn't explain it to him in a text. Uh -huh. I couldn't explain it to him talking over the phone, so I say here, and I went out and I filmed this, and I sent it to him. I said, "This is what you do," and uh, you know, it's because that's sometimes my artwork is the only way I can describe it. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, I can tell you about it, but you're still going, "Yeah, well, I still don't get it." 
you know yeah and that's one thing I would I would suggest for anybody out there that's doing any twitch feeds or these conventions or anything that's going to teach somebody mm -hmm. how to build um, and like I mentioned in the class there is different levels of, of you know experience uh -huh. and it's, yeah and uh, you know, I don't believe that there's not an artist out there in everybody. Yeah, you, you proved know. me wrong. Well, <laughs> when you, you said that, I was like, no, yeah. you're kidding. No, no, yeah. no. But I, I, That's I what was I'm like, after, yeah. is to take that doubt away from you. <laughs> and uh, I, again, with the critiques, that's why I'll never give back critique. You know, somebody, somebody will look and say, oh, they just did a horrible job. Mm -hmm. And I look at them and say, well, yeah, let's bring yours so we can compare them. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't do that. Okay, so is there a reason why you felt like you wanted to hurt their feelings? Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's so much easier. Um, you know, everybody out here has tried their hardest. And the worst costumes are the ones that have tried the hardest. That's, that's the thing, is the people out there, I, I saw one that was built out of duct tape that... In, in everybody's minds, probably they thought that this is just the most horrible costume. But I'm looking and saying, you know, they got this right, they got this right. They, they studied this really, really hard. Mm -hmm. But this kid did not have any kind of a budget. You know, it looks like he probably built it out of uh, his dad's garage. Mm -hmm. So he used the material that was at hand because he wanted to be a part of something. Yeah. So, is it a bad costume? No. It's not. You know, his skill level is just somebody hasn't taken him and gone like this. Yeah. So, anyway. I think we're getting the, the wave yeah. back there. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, kind of, they're kind of after it. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, you're just so easy to talk to. It's, you know, you could just probably sit and talk for hours. <laughs> and see, I love talking to myself. <laughs> No, I, there, there's a joke behind that, and I, I'll kind of wrap it up with this. Um, I, and I joke with my wife because every once in a while she says, Bruce, she says, we know. <laughs> Just stop. And I says, well, okay, let's let's talk talking about me. Let's talk about you. She says, well, that would be a change. I says, okay, so what do you think about me? <laughs> so, but, I like that. I like that. No, but... <laughs> I do love talking to people, and, and uh, you know, especially in my craft. But I've got a whole other side of me that's just the same person. Out of this, in it, it doesn't matter. I've, I've learned the hard way to, you know, kind of be a little kinder in life. Yeah. So, especially with everybody. I, you don't know what kind of day people's having. Yeah. There's enough negativity out there. It's you know we oh, we do try to be like privately. You know we can have our own you know attitudes and and yeah. whatever. But you know out in the world we do try to be a smiling face for people. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And a, a lot of people look at me and go, "Okay, you're just putting this on." Well, you know, if that's the way you think of me, then spend some time with me. Yeah. You know, <laughs> if, if you still think that, then. Maybe I need to learn something. Yeah. Because so, I can't say I do everything right. I mean, <laughs> you know, again, you ask my wife, she's out there in the leather, but she'll tell you all about me. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, thank you very much. No problem. We will see you out there. Oh, good And scene. I look forward to another build. All right. So, uh, first and foremost, I do want to point out that not only did he look awesome as Jor El, yes. but. Uh, <laughs> This wasn't much of an interview as much as it was a... Couple of friends getting back together yeah, and chit chat Pretty much. <laughs> Which was so nice because we were so nervous. The majority of the press conference talking to people that we knew something about, but, you know, we're not really that great at interviewing. So it was just really great to cap the whole interview process off. Basically getting to have a chit chat with my friend. Kind of like one of those TV movie things where you see them from across the room and you wave and smile. We just basically just sat there and chit chatted. You know, it was, it was a lot of fun to get to talk to him, you know, about some of his past builds. And, he, you know, he gave some really great advice from some challenges from his past and some things to do about it. You know, giving me some advice on, on how to deal with, with some of my mild dyslexia issues that I've got, you know, to get some awareness out there. Some things I didn't even know about. Yeah. 
as you can see, Bruce Holt was just so easy to talk to. And that's kind of why we like to get to know the people mm -hmm. at conventions. You know, we talk do. to the people in the booths and everything. Whether they're craftsmen, whether they're artists or creators, or even if they're just vendors selling things. Uh, you know, I mean, there are plenty of people that we've seen at multiple conventions. And Bruce is kind of one of those people that is quickly, fastly becoming a con friend. And it's always great mm -hmm. to see him because... You know, like you said, it's not like you're you're interviewing him. It's like you're catching up with an old Basically, friend. Basically, yeah. So it makes it it's super nice. It's super easy to talk to. Now, just so you guys don't think that Bruce simply came to, you know, talk with us. He didn't? He did have a couple <laughs> of panels at Vision Con. Now, no classes this time. No, no classes this time. But uh, he did have some panels and they were very interesting. Yeah, uh, they were very informative, too. Yes, yeah. It was almost a little tiny class. Uh, just about. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> now, outside of the uh, the whole interview and everything, whenever we were at Bruce's booth, uh, <laughs> he was always super friendly, not only with us, but all the other people that came by. There was one cosplayer who ended up in the cosplay contest who, when he came over, I absolutely loved. I think we both yeah. loved how encouraging Bruce was to this guy. I mean, he was looking over his whole armor and talking about like all the fine details of it and uh, just commenting and complimenting mm -hmm. all of the work that he had put into this costume. One thing I will say about Bruce is he doesn't like when people cut themselves down. And this guy was even saying, well, I just used this material and I should have used this material. And Bruce was like, hey, that looks good. Don't, don't sell yourself short. If that material works and it looks like what it needs to look like use it who cares about using actual leather you know use what you used and everything so that is one nice thing that i love about him is that he doesn't like it when you cut yourself down and he will tell you stop you're amazing and i always love the look on his face when he sees a good build that oh, comes yeah. near him he looks like a little kid and he's just like come here i want to talk to you let me let me look at this build and it's it's just so encouraging you know so that's that's the one thing the main thing that i love about bruce is he's just so vibrant and encouraging and just happy about cosplay now of course we are going to leave some links for bruce holt down in the description below and i highly highly recommend if you ever get a chance to be at a convention that he is at go up to him say hi get to know him get meet him if he's got a class a build class or a panel take the class go to the panel it is you will learn so much even if it's not really something that you're into or that you feel like you would do you would learn so much and it's just it's so helpful oh that's a good point because even if you're not looking to build some kind of costume if you go into one of his panels and see how even some minute detail mm -hmm. is done it will definitely give you a brand new appreciation yeah. for the craft all right well guys please like the video leave some comments down below especially if you are a cosplayer if you know anything or have ever talked to or met mr bruce holt and uh Hit the notification bell. Be sure that you are subscribed because there are more Vision Con goodies coming your way. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so that you can be notified of all the awesome Vision Con stuff coming your way. And hit us up over there on Tee Public and get some of our merch because we want to see you in those shirts, nerdlings. So remember, if we like it, we nerd it. <laughs>